Hello, hello. To the second part, guys. Slide three, number one. Just you remember that. What are you up to now? Revelio. one day I wouldn't want to be hung next to you Revelio Revelio. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hackett and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Really? So really... ah. Can you tell me more about <sighs> I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. 
Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I love butterbeer, guys. I love Revelio. Rebellion. I wish they'd let Ronan teach the entire curriculum. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask, I have arranged some... Why must I first complete tasks to learn? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. Such experience... I'll stop.
This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Got it. Professor, why must I... They are meant... Page must be around here somewhere. Accio! Brilliant. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. Let us give the old. Remember to be deliberate in. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. Repairer. Nicely done. Work. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps they too accurate and lashed out. Revelio. Revelio. Repairer. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. It's good, black children are too young. I need to get some dragon hide for that one. Your hands into greenhouse. Hello, world. looking for me? Revelio.
Revelio. Reparo. Levioso. Reparo. Accio. Lumos. Revelio. Repairer. Levioso. Accio.
Revelio. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. 
Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. 
I thought you might enjoy a better bee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Uh. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also Revelio. use them for Look! From the Forbidden Forest! Hippogriffs! I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Oh, what the fuck is happening? I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She's Rebellio! Hmm? Levioso! Accio! Reparo! Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the class. Revelio. <laughs> Revelio. Levioso. Accio. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. 
Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm What's the big map? What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my Akio. Life, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Yes. There are pork on the meat, guys. It's absolutely sweet on me, I'm sure of it. Every time you come out Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Mr. Revelio. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougly and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle. Akio. Good Lumos. night to both of you. Mm. Poor Mr. Moon. A Demi, guys. I think he had too much fun in the room. Akio. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Revelio. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Yep. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivanda. And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the sp Matilda student. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something. Of course it is not without compl- Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's- And I too. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Let's look at what we have, shall we? It 
if you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. enough reflection on the path. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in... Is it really? Well... Uh, you'll have read it on the sign, of course. How? Uh, you're the student she sent the app. I set your things aside immediately. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. But for now, what can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Revelio.
Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. Ah, oh, the Dittanif. Merlin's bait. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. But... Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Revelio. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Revelio. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness! Ah, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Ah, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is this, this is it. 
curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I... A match. Your connections. I'm E. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intention. That sounds wonderful. Revelio. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. 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 Only a hairy heart. Ah, I have everything.
Levioso. Are we weakening him at all? Keep asking. We have to let him down. Levioso. What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Look, he's faltering. Arrest him and took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by your... I suppose so. It's Merlin's beard. We are, and we... I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. Prepare us. Ah, good as new. I will see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Repairer. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Revelio. Repairer. Rebellion. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. I should like to thank you for your remarkable... I was happy. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you... That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I... <laughs> Nonsense! Uh, now, uh, let's try. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time.
What an extraordinary... Revelio, more battle worthy items. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your Lumos. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Oh my god, look here. Akio! You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. What the fuck is this? Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? 
Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Oh my Watch God, your back. Strange. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time Rebellion. to go to the castle. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I... Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field. Akio! Levioso! Revelio! Can I 
help you? Sebastian told me to... If... I'm flattered to hear that. Imagine it's... Of course. Julie. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! We'll make you regret signing up. Let me open. Is that all you've got? Let me open. It's also. Come on. Let me open. Accio. Give him more more. It's also. Protego. Levioso! Don't try them that way. Springer! Sender! There goes my wager. I could never duel like that. Nice work! Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. I... Now, again, congratulations on your first cross... Hope to see you back here again. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. so bothered. Of course I was bothered. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Fuck up, boy. Uh. Revelio. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. 
and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Oi! Can you help? Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Ask Poppy if she'd be interested. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Following a Hogwarts? Where do you suggest? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map. Very well. I took just a picture uh, of this treasure map, so I know where this is, but I don't remember this. Revelio. Revelio. So this is a dragon? Something in the tree. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Akio. Repairo. I sent a love letter to Imelda Rowe. Revelio. And I think she thought I was making fun of her because she's been rude to me ever since. When I said she was outspoken, I meant it as a compliment. I adore getting Elsa back home. My father sends me one almost every week. No one sends me owls. I can't remember the last time I got one. Not even on my birthday.
Revelio. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Might some kind soul help me? There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? The stairwell looks promising. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now where's the treasure? Ah, there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Why she'd fussed so much. It was only one page in a book. I'd never fold down a corner in a book. I'd make a fuss too if I were her. There are so many of them. Ugh. I'd say you'd be hard pressed to find one without a turn page. Oh, I think she goes about repairing them. She did. Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts.
Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. to help me. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom... E Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like my... Gobs? That's what I tried to tell. <sighs> People... Rather an overreact... Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from there? If I knew that, I'd get them... Whoever hid my gobstones that high? I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackston. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Levioso! Here. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio! How nice to see you, my young friend. Accio! Revelio.
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Repero. Levioso. Repero. Revelio. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You can't mm. imagine how inconvenient Revelio. the travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her.
Wish I could go slow, but I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my. Hello, Zenobia. Common sense. Well. <clears throat> of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful! Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder... That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun. And now everyone... Very well. Off I go. Wish me luck. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Ah, I believe we have some matters to discuss. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and... You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Revelio.
Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. Hello, Lucan. May I use the... Of course. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio, Levioso. You'll get it. Akio. Levioso. Akio. That's it. Levioso. Nicely done. Levioso. Akio. Four. I'd say that's enough. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, is it? Not at the moment. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Levioso. Akio. Levioso. Give him one more. Levioso. Akio. Levioso. There goes the one. Take the sender. Act like the winner. Akio. I could never duel like that. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. What are you up to now?
I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate... I finished all of the talk. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn incendiary. Should be. Yes. Your spellcasting has... Concentrate. And keep your wand steady. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Revelio. Revelio. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. So I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your... You must continue to work with her and your other professors to imp That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the light. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rook. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. So... I need to find something for Professor... <laughs> and I am.
Thank you. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells? Spells are free. Give it a try. I can see you. The prefect might well. quietly now. still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Revelio. me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in, but the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in. Better not be a student in here. The key. Here it is. isn't up to his ridiculous... Was someone there? Is that you, Peeves? That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Revelio.
should be in the clip. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Reparo! As Merlin knows, everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts make Help Anne? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which Rebellion. is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Levioso! I'll be quieter than a job and all. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Revelio. Revelio. Repero. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caughty. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble. I have a way with the fact. I like having friends. Now go. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repairer. Revelio. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Revelio. Where might this lead? Repairer. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. Not surprising. Guards at the ready.
Repairer. Akio. Levioso. This must be the way forward, but to where? Revelio. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Revelio. a book after all.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind.
You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... you accessed the restricted section? Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything for... Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr... I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see... Good. Don't neglect your studies. But you'll want to pay attention in Herbology and Potions. There's more to... Plenty to keep me occupied. You've done exceptionally well. Oh, and Rebellion. don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Akio! Sometimes it seems all right. I'd like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. <laughs> Professor Fig and Weez...
have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a Diracle around here. Revelio. not supposed to go down there. I just thought. You could have got her in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. There you are. Ha! Huh. Finally. I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it. As always. How would one like to be... Hello. Oh, come in. But look at you. Looking for a change. I'm not... Why don't you spend a... I... Sh Look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Stop by whenever you're about. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Whenever you're about. 